Kelly Morse, and I am pleased to introduce the Edgemont Vocal Jazz Ensemble from Edgemont High School in Scarsdale, New York. We are singing four selections for you today. The first is a great tune that we commissioned for our ensemble this year entitled Just One of Those Things, arranged by Carrie Marsh, featuring Olivia Reduto, Isha Patel, and Mats Horenz on vocal solos. Our second song, Lullaby of Birdland, is also arranged by Carrie Marsh. This tune will feature Isha Patel and Isabel Corman on vocal solos. Our third selection is entitled The More I See You, which is arranged by Paul Langford. We're going to wrap up our set today with Oh Lady Be Good, arranged by Darman Meter for the New York Voices. This song will feature vocal solos by Abigail Duke, Isabel Corman, Richard Yen, Olivia Reduto, Benny Shuket, Tyler Buxer Schultz, and Mats Horenz, as well as drum solos by Dylan Buxer Schultz. Thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy.
him goodbye. Oh, 
Hello, Edgemon High School. My name is Tim Brent, and I'm down here in Miami, Florida, uh, affiliated with the University of Miami, and it's a pleasure to be here uh, taking a listen to you at the National Jazz Festival. I'm excited to hear what you have to share with us, so let's get started. I love that you're outside making music, that is so great. You know, we just gotta do what we gotta do, right? That is awesome. I don't see any monitors. How are you hearing yourselves? That's a big group too. Nice rhythm section. Really good drumming. Great energy. Great to the vowel. Keep your mouth a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller space. Keep everything lifted.
I don't know. I'm not sure about this tempo. I know it's supposed to be a burner, but this might be just on the edge of a little too fast to really feel that groove. So I might take it maybe five to 10 clicks slower and see how that feels with the groove of this piece. Yeah. Nice solo. You know what would be nice is take a little more liberty with the... Yeah, take a little more liberty with the, you know, with the melody. I love the energy. I mean, there's some physical energy that you guys have kind of moving and that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. This is a great chart. Nice solo. Nice. Wow, good confidence, good shape. Yeah, that's tough. Getting that bridge section because the harmony changes there, making that transition. So just slow that down, really work, and let your ears hear how that moves to the harmony. Yeah, make sure, I love your ideas. Sometimes we're not getting right to the center of the pitch. So make sure that you're really nailing those pitch centers. Yeah, exactly. Great solist. I think just, you know, way oh, we oh, ba 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 Just make sure you're right in the center every time. That's a hard soli. That is not easy. You guys are nailing it. It's actually really, I mean, considering you have all this going on outside and things, it's really a nice sound. I think it's probably direct from the board, I'm guessing. Yeah. Here's hope, hoping we'll meet. Everything just, if you think just higher, lifted, a little more smile. And I've noticed when I do really fast songs like this, less of the tip of the tongue articulation because it slows you down. So just think, you know, when you're doing those scat solis, keep the tip of the tongue not having to articulate so much because it slows you down. That's really, really nicely done on a very difficult chart and two really nice soloists. I love this chart. Nice dynamics there. Yeah, I think we can even use more dynamics in those kind of love it. Oh, yeah, you got me. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, wow, really nice expression, that solo. Yeah. I, I'm looking at people's eyebrows. You want to lift those eyebrows. That's going to actually, believe it or not, it doesn't affect the tone. We're going to lift the eyebrows, keep everything up here in the, in the mask and the cheeks. Yeah, to, to, for me, I don't think we need to over tur tul dub over-articulate here. That's one of the things that takes me away a little bit from the colloquial uh, sensibilities that you know jazz has, more kind of conversational in our, especially on microphones. There's not really a need to overdo that. Maybe in a hall for, if we're not being amplified, but you guys are all on microphones, so. Yeah, and there's a bit, the chromatic line just, it wasn't all lined up, so just make sure we're nailing those chromatic lines. Yeah, there's a, somebody's doing a lot of inflection. That's why we can't have inflections on a group uh, vocal. We can only do that on solos. That's a great chord. Yep. Yeah, I feel like there's more room here for dynamic contrast on a, on a ballad like this. You guys have a really nice sense of dynamic contrast because it's, because it's so good. Every phrase I'm feeling, I want to hear just, a, it's subtle, right? Because it's, you know, it's um, acapella. So you, you can have subtle dynamic contrast in every phrase that just brings me in even more to the performance. Yeah, nice, very nice. Not an easy chart at all. All right, what do we, what do we have going on now? I'm hearing, I don't know if it's baritone or tenor kind of sticking out of this, this mixture. It's like one particular voice and that's just probably a mixing thing on the board. Nice bases, laying it down. Good unified sound, Sopranos. Yeah, so I think here for me, blend and balance, you guys are really consistent. For me on the swing style, so it, when you have two eighth notes grouped, the second one seems to get rushed and a little clipped. Think, do ba do ba do ba do ba do. So you want to keep them together as much as possible. You don't want to separate the two. As years go by. Yep. I think a general in general this one, the swing eighth notes. We could lay back the second of the eighth, two eighth notes could lay back a little more. Yeah. No, this is, I mean, you guys are doing, I, I'm getting so nitpicky here, but because um, you guys are so good. Yeah. Da, da. It just needs to be a little more pointed, a little bit more like a, a trumpet. Yeah, that, that phrase. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that, every phrase.
Yeah, now I like the whole band's back in, right? You're a big band, just using words. Uh huh. Again, here, I think also more dynamic contrast as years go. I mean, you can have a lot of, yeah, I think that you have a lot more room because, again, it's acapella. Every phrase, if it's good, it can be subtle, but I think every phrase needs a little bit of that, that rise and fall, that dynamic. Yeah, ma, ma, just really direct that bass is ma. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really fine singing. I mean, again, anything that you hear me say, I mean, I'm getting just so nitpicky because you guys are at such a high level that I can, you know, because you guys are really, really good musicians. Let's see what you're gonna close with here, let's. Oh, I love it. Nice solo. Yeah. Good. Really nice sense of, of Style, good articulation, good intonation. Yeah, so my only general comment to solace is use of vibrato. So it seems that when you get to a longer note that isn't an eighth note, the vibrato onset is real quick. And in this you know jazz style, either you know minimize or eliminate vibrato. So it's usually gonna be straight tone and vibrato as an ornament. Yeah, loose, loose. Just let it float up in there. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I think you can just, again, with scat syllables, more, you don't have to articulate everyone, just Just, yeah, you don't need to over articulate. It sounds actually more affected, affected when you do that. Yeah. Okay, yes. Again, love the ideas. Just let's really work on getting to the center of every pitch on those scat solos. Yeah, I mean, I love the ideas. I love the, the rise and the fall of the line. Again, I just want to hear more consistency of pitch on the scat solo. Yeah, what? Nice. Nice drummer. Yeah, that rhythm section is really laying it down. You guys are very lucky to have such talented um, uh, musicians in your rhythm section. Yeah, for Sopranos. Again, here. We can bring the dynamics down, have room for growth. Yeah. Well, Edgemont High School, it was such a pleasure and a joy to get to know 
you and uh, for you to share your music with me. It was really a wonderful performance. And again, everything that you heard me say, um, I'm just getting so nitpicky because of the high musical level of your ensemble. Thank you to your director who was really inspirational and for putting all this together and the, the opportunity for you to have to make live music. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.